Today we're making an almost no-bake cheesecake, which is key lime, and it is gluten-free. We're gonna be using some siete cookies, they're shortbread cookies, to make the crust, which is really delicious. It's got a hint of cinnamon in it. And we're gonna be using some stevia to keep the sugar low. And we're gonna be using some yogurt and some cream cheese together. And I tell you, it's such a refreshing and delicious lime cheesecake, you're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, we're gonna start off here with chef joke number one. That means number two will be a little bit later. All right, here we go. What do you call limes that can open doors? Key limes. I said this was an almost no-bake cheesecake, right? Well, this is the part that needs to go in the oven. We're gonna do a little bit of baking. We're gonna make our crust and pop it in the oven for maybe nine, 10 minutes, and that's it. The rest of the cake is gonna go in the crust, and then we're gonna just put it right in the fridge. So I have my springform pan here, if you've never used one. It has a little buckle right there, and you're gonna just open that up, and the bottom just slips right out. You can use a pie plate if you don't have one of these. I'm gonna line the bottom of the pan with some parchment paper to make the cheesecake easy to get out. So I'm gonna use the bottom of the pan as a template and I'm gonna make a, a line around it so that I know where to cut. So now I'll place the bottom piece with the parchment paper right in the pan and buckle it up. Now the pan is ready for the crust. So I have a scale here and I am measuring out six and a half ounces of the Siete shortbread cookies. Place the cookies in a Ziploc bag, seal it up, and then pound the you-know-what out of it. No, I'm just kidding. Just pound them until they're crumbly. I'm gonna pour the cookie crumbs, the smashed ones, into a bowl and we're gonna add some melted butter. Give that a nice stir and mix it up until it looks like wet sand. And then we'll just pour the crumbs into our springform pan or if you're using a pie plate, just pour it right in. And then you wanna spread it out, try and get it as even as you can. And you can use your hands, make sure they're clean, <laughs> of course. Kind of even it out. I like to get it as even as I can first before I start pushing on it with a glass. So take a glass and use it to press the, the crumbs down nice and firm. Once it's nice and firm, it's ready to go into a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about nine or 10 minutes. The crust cooked for 10 minutes and so we're pulling it out. I'm just gonna set it here on the stove and it needs to cool completely before we can add the filling. We're gonna start on our filling by zesting our limes. Now just do one swipe and then rotate so that you don't go too deep into the white area, which is bitter. All right, now that we've zested all the limes, we're gonna squeeze them. We're gonna juice them up and just measure out about a quarter, somewhere between a quarter and a cup and a third of a cup. So just depending on how tart you like it. You always wanna zest first because it's always easier to zest and then juice. So I'm gonna measure out my lime juice and then we're going to heat it in the microwave. I don't wanna get this too hot, so I'm gonna place it in the microwave at 50% power for about 20 to 30 seconds and we'll see how warm it is. Next, I'm gonna add one package of gelatin to our lime juice and then we're gonna mix it up until it's dissolved. To prevent lumps, you wanna add just a little bit of the gelatin at a time. I really like using this little mini mixer as it really works great to mix it up. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to pick one of these up. So in a medium-sized bowl, we're going to be adding some Greek organic yogurt. And to that, we're going to add a brick of cream cheese that has been sitting out to soften. And I'm going to take my hand mixer here and give it a whirl. We want it to be nice and creamy and smooth. Now we're going to add that lime juice with the gelatin. Now I'm gonna add some stevia, but you can use regular sugar if you really want to. And here I had a bunch measured out into a bowl and decided not to use it all. It just depends on your taste buds and how tart or sweet you like it. And lastly, we're gonna add that lime zest that we did earlier, and then we're gonna mix this up until it's well combined. Now at this point, I recommend tasting it and seeing if you need to add more sugar or more lime juice or both. Now I'm ready to pour the filling into the cooked crust that's been cooled. Take your spatula and then just smooth it out so it's nice and even. This is going in the refrigerator for at least four hours and preferably overnight. 
Okay, so it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. Why was the lime fired from the juice factory? Because he couldn't concentrate. <laughs> okay, so I let the cheesecake sit in the refrigerator and chill up really well overnight. So here we go. We're gonna serve this up. Now with a spring form pan, you're gonna wanna take a knife and just release the edge. And we'll take this little buckle here, that's what I like to call it, and just pull it back. And it makes the circle get bigger so that we can then lift it off. We're gonna jazz up our pie a little bit with some fresh zest and a slice of lime and some whipping cream. I use only the best here, so check out those ingredients. To the whipping cream, you're gonna to wanna to add a little bit of vanilla extract and some sugar. Whip it up until it's nice and firm, and then we're gonna place it into a Ziploc bag. I don't currently have a pastry bag, so I'm gonna use a Ziploc bag, and you can do the same. And then push all the cream into one corner, and then snip off the end with some scissors, and start piping some little dollops on your pie. I'm no pastry chef, but I think this looks fine. Now visually, we can show people what kind of pie this is by slicing up a little bit of lime into a nice thin slice, and then we're gonna cut it halfway through so that we can stand it up on the pie like this. To finish it off, all we need to do is zest a little more lime on top and it gives it a little bit of color and a little more flavor. Time to cut out a slice and give it a taste. Check out this crust, it's nice and buttery and delicious. This pie is creamy and not too sweet and not too tart. This is such a refreshing dessert, I'm gonna go in for another bite. If you like citrusy types of desserts, then you might wanna try my lemon curd, homemade. So I'll leave a link for you right here on the screen. Check it out and go make that. You will enjoy it and can use it in many different ways. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button for me and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. Thanks again, and we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.